Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Free Range Sessions, coming from Longmont, Colorado. Tonight's Tuesday, February 5th, 2013, and we are so happy to have the Prairie Scholars in the, uh, in the bunker tonight, and uh, they'll be playing some songs and taking some requests, asking, uh, they'll be asking probably more questions than we'll be asking, but... Uh, uh, that's kind of the way they roll. It's the kind of way we roll. Anything happens here in the bunker. So without any more of me jabbing away, welcome to the show. And um, here we go. The Prairie Scholars, Free Rage Sessions. I don't know, Travis. I was really enjoying your talking. Yeah, I like that. Well, thank you. Story time. Thanks. Promise thanks. that we'll get more later and we'll play a song. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for coming in tonight, guys. Yeah, it's our pleasure. I want to say hi to everybody online. Hello, everybody online. <laughs> And I think that I would die yeah. You never knew why Couldn't feel anything And always stay the same Loving you like I do Jagged one, if I were a mountain, I'd be a lonely one. If I were a garden, I'd be a hidden one, an overridden one, a long forbidden one. If I were a garden, I'd be a hidden And I think that I would die if yeah. you never knew I couldn't feel anything and always stay the same. And I think that I would die.
Very excellent. <laughs> Very excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Travis, and a special <laughs> shout out to Tom. Yes. There's Travis and the sound man, Brent, are in the other room, and they are, Brett, did I say it wrong? <laughs> I just met him a minute ago. Sorry. And I smoked <laughs> weed. Um, they're in the other room. The only dude in here with us is Tom. And this other guy that just walked in, he, he may just be they're robbing the place. <laughs> Travis, did you know someone else's? <laughs> uh, sure. All's welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking off with some shit. <laughs> So I got a question for you guys. You you um you live here in Colorado now, but you're you're both from Texas. Is that correct? Yep. That's true. All yeah. the worst parts. All the worst Aww. parts. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're both from Texas. Matter of fact, we we moved up here in 2009, kind of at the end of 2009, right after our third or fourth anniversary, something, uh, wedding anniversary that is. We're and, married. Uh, yeah, it's yeah true. we're married as shit. And. Um, <laughs> We started recording together as the Prairie Scholars around about 2010, and we've released at least one record a year since. And we do all that from Colorado. We're from Texas, but technically the Prairie Scholars are from here. Yep. That's Prairie great. Here, from Longmont. here, of course, being the internet. Yes. <laughs> we are, um, we're in the WWW. Yeah. That's not world wrestling either, right? <laughs> Sometimes it is. Yeah. All right, how about another tune? We're out there. We're on the internet. We're mixed in there with the pornography and news. <laughs> this story called The Kelly Boys. It's about a group of troublemakers in the Old West who've been given their last warning by the local sheriff not to come back into town. Of course, they, they came back into town, Tom, because, you know, they're bad dudes. Yeah. Well, they rolled back into town again. I warned them not to come. Wanted men all drinking hard and thinking I'm some bum. So I loaded up the 12 gauge, packed a brace of 38s. The sun is gone, and those Keller boys were the worst ones in the state. But I am the sheriff. What was I supposed to do? For you I do With these rusty guns And these worn out hands For you I do I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want to yeah. For them and one of me, I knew I couldn't miss. If they had all just moved along, it wouldn't have to come to this. First shot at young Jim Kelly, right between the eyes, and I turned the twelve on Bobby. There were no time for goodbyes. Colin and his brother Phil jumped back behind the bar, and they pulled out all their guns, but they knew they'd never get that far. But I am the sheriff, what am I supposed to do? For you I do With these rusty guns And these worn out hands For you I do I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want to
Phil's first shot was a wild one and it went into the wall But one blast from my 38 just blew away his jaw Colin made a run for it, but he's never quite that fast Desperate times are desperate things, no steps to be his last But I am the sheriff, wonder what I'm supposed to do So we got some viewers here uh, chiming in on Facebook on the Prairie Scholars page. Uh, They're just cussing they at us. Stefan Clifford. He says he's going to crack a beer and sit right here. Sounds great. That's what I'm doing. Shit. Great. And we have Matt Ernst. We love Matt Ernst from Fox 34 oh. in Lubbock, Texas. Matt and Taylor. I'm Fox sure. 31. Huh? Lubbock, Taylor. Uh, 34. 34. Is that is that radio? He's like, no, no, hell no. It's TV. It's fucking TV. <laughs> hey, man. They do and he's, I'll tell you this. He's the most handsome guy on that station. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Burn. laughs> I'm going to play a brand new one for you uh, because we like to showcase shit that we don't have for sale yet. Yeah, makes fun for us, you know. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we could write a book on how to not stay in business. This little tune about um, moving up here to Colorado from Texas and uh, realizing that it really is a legitimate thing to do to fuck for warmth. Well, I learned a few things since I moved up to the mountains. I learned how to keep a beer cold by the fire. I learned that even though it gets cold in these mountains, we both radiate the warmth of our desire. Well, hold me close. Little darling, these winters ain't like they were back home. If these frozen winds come rushing in and we don't get together, they're gonna chill us both right to the bone. They're gonna chill us both right to the bone. Well, I learned a few things since I moved up to the mountains. I learned how to tell if a nug is past its prime. Now there's plenty of good time loving here in these mountains. Some of it's the love, some's to pass the time. Hold me close. Little darling, these winters ain't like they were back home. If these frozen winds come rushing in and we don't get together, they're gonna chill us both right to the bone. They're gonna chill us both right to the bone.
little darling these winters ain't like they were back home if these frozen winds come rushing in and we don't get together They're going to chill us both right to the bone. They're going to chill us both right to the bone. All right. Thanks, Travis. That's a brand new number? Well, it's a brand new song. Brand new song. I don't know if there are any new numbers. They've all been accounted for. <laughs> So you guys turn out records fairly fast, don't you? It's because we went to school to learn to make our own records, uh, and that has proven to be a great way to make a lot of records for not very much cash. But so we spent thousands and thousands of hours on them. So you write the songs, you play all the instruments, you sing all the harmonies, and you record it at the same time. All at the same time, yes, it it just takes one well, time Well, we multi-track it, <laughs> so we do one at a time. But yes. Sorry, Travis. I was, I'm being a dick. I don't it's, know why. It's fascinating, really. <laughs> no, yeah. we do. We're all self-contained. And you guys, you, guys uh, you said before you, you actually went to school for this, so you guys met each other at, at school, right? Yes. You should tell that story. I should. Well, I'm probably the only one that remembers it. No, I'm just kidding. I joke because four different people introduced Andy and I, and he always introduces himself. I'm Andy Epler. Whether he remembers you or not, he always does it the same. At 18, I understood Brandon. <laughs> uh, you're 30, and you're still doing it. Cause it's does, I'm yeah. not You've quite introduced 30. yourself to me at least eight times. Well, yeah, any, so anyone that's ever been offended by Andy introducing himself perpetually to you, I mean, I married him, and he did it to me, so... Yes. how often do I really offend people? <laughs> you're, you're right, Andy, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, you guys tour... Um, in Colorado, you go back to Texas to play shows quite a bit? No, I wouldn't put year. it that way. Yeah. yeah, we go back for the Buddy Holly Center uh, once a year uh, out of respect for Buddy Holly and our rent. And um, <laughs> y we usually release a CD every year, so we have a great reason to go back where we came from. And there are a lot of great people there that support us, you know, so there's a great reason to go back. M speaking of Matt Ernst, he's a supporter <laughs> and handsome. Nice. But we like this. I mean, we like to stay in Colorado, and if we can put our music on the internet and let it tour for us, that's what we prefer. Well, if you guys want to do a, a CD release internet show, we Ooh. should we should talk about that. It's not a bad idea. We haven't considered that. And there's so many things we haven't considered, Travis. So true. Well, it's the power of the <laughs> inner tubes, you know? It's a pretty amazing <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we should do that. It's a great idea. It's a good idea. We'll have another album out in nine months, probably. We've got, not, uh, not that we've we've got 27, 27 people watching right now, live. Oh, we'll take that. From all over the planet. The, the, a lot of people have been asking me if they could check up and, and read it later. Or w not yeah. read it, watch it later. But I know it's going to be up on your site, probably. Yes, it will. So if you go to freerangepictures.com, there's a, on the menu tab, there's a thing called Free Range Sessions, mm. which will take you to that page. And then you can, I'm putting them all up on YouTube. Good to know. So All YouTube. good information. Are you guys checking your your Twitter feed or whatever? I ha I haven't. Thing? I've been. I've been mostly checking involved. the beer feed. Because <laughs> if you're a real multitasker, Andy, you would be you'd be playing, singing, and checking your Facebook at the same time. We'll practice. We'll practice when no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's busted. <laughs> so you guys comfortable? The the cold cut tray was okay. You're doing well. It yeah, was great, yeah. Not okay. as Delicious. cold as Jess usually prefers it. I don't want to be a dick, but you know. Well, we do have it hot. Was cold enough. We do have hot. Um, we prefer a warm lights. cold tray. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about another another song? Yeah. Uh, this kind of ties into our conversation, actually. Uh, Jess and I are poor as shit. And uh, that's one of the reasons we record all the music ourselves. We couldn't afford to do it any other way as often as we want to do it. All the content we have, we couldn't produce any other way than doing it in our extra bedroom at the house. So uh, there's a little song about poor folks. Lord. 
afford a new car or even gasoline Hell, I don't have the funds for them kind of things And I don't need to go on vacation Cause all I need is a fresh libation And everything will just be alright Six grand a year All I want to do Is dance with you honey And I can still afford One more beer I look at people around me And I see Someone's always worse Or better off than me And lately I've been doing some thinking We'd all be feeling better If we did more drinking Maybe everything would just be Alright Yeah, you know I don't make too much money It comes out to about 26 grand a year All I want to do is dance with you, honey And I can still afford Well, you know I don't make too much money It comes out to about 26 grand a year All I want to do is dance with you, honey And I can still afford one more beer You know I don't make too much money It comes out to about 26 grand a year All I Excellent. Thank you very much, Thank Travis. You. Very kind of you to say so. Brian Rezac's watching. Hello, Brian Rezac. I see you, Brian. <laughs> Put, Put your, your pants, pants on, on. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what people don't realize is because they can see us on the internet, we really can see them. They just don't know it. I see what you're doing in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's all fancy t TV, internet stuff. Yeah. Let's try a little damage on these motherfuckers. You know, if you guys, oh, I knew I needed that backup. Beer. I should have got some uh, Shiner Box or something, being the whole Texas theme. You know, funny enough, I don't really like Shiner Box. Um, my favorite Texas beer and my uh, Texas bar beer of choice is, of course, Lone Star. <laughs> because my body wants water, but my brain wants alcohol. And that's what Lone Star is. Yes. The blue and the mixture. Middle. It's a yeah. blue, blue can, blue happy. and red, white can. Is that correct? You, you've heard that joke about... <laughs> Never mind. It's a fucking stupid joke. I don't want to be responsible so for that joke. No. It was going to be the one where it's like, what does having sex in a boat and a Coors Light have in common? They're Go ahead and say it, Travis, if you know it. I don't, I don't know it. You don't know it? That was Brett, the sound guy, joke. chiming in. They're both fucking close to water. Uh, I heard someone say it. Mm. Tom gave me the answer. He helped me cheat. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. That's nice. She's a fucking cheater. <laughs> I feel that from you. Yes. This little tune called Damage. Wait, hold on one second. Oh. 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 Brian has a question, doesn't he? Brian Rezac. He's <laughs> out there. No. Brian Rezac. He knows Great. all the answers. He is, um, he's Oz. He has what, no questions. That's what he is. Okay. We, uh... 
back up and running. All right. Fiddles. He's got some other tunes. Other kinds Electrify. Of tunes. Electrify, yes. We've got 33 people watching right now. Wow. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I wish I could see all of your faces. Let me ask you this, Travis. For our friends that are here, there's only 30 or 40 of us involved at this point. Is it cool if I take my pants off yet? Sure. I mean... <laughs> see, Travis, you're so enabling... For Andy, I know. I actually, I, I need to. I know I need to come. You down. always say yes to him. Yeah. Well, I don't want to offend anybody. He's got that <laughs> magical power. It's it's real easy to say yes. I know. Yeah. I've said yes many times. I'm not going to say I do if you ever <laughs> ask me. So, how's the koozie, Jess? Is it treating your beer nice? Yes, it's Prairie Scholars. Let me do the, the promo shot here. Ready for this? <laughs> We're going to get a tight shot. There we go. <laughs> nice. It's ice cold. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. All right, everybody, the Prairie Scholars Free Range Sessions, Tuesday, February 5th, 2013. Oh, yeah.
to hell They're gonna send him to hell That's what they're gonna do They're gonna send him to hell And take that horse back to head down, tearing through the night. The ranch girl he'd gone to see was now miles out of sight. Cause her daddy, who had caught them, had gone to fetch his gun. And the lover boy in his rush to leave became a horse thief on the run. They're gonna send him to hell. Scholars on Free Range Sessions. Is that a, is that Cheers, a new, everybody. Is that a new number? Uh, yeah, reasonably new. It's on the new album. I can't remember what the new album is called, Jess. 
The Wasteland Ramble. There it is. I don't know how you come by this information. It's on the koozie. <laughs> is it? I need to give the sound guy a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that couldn't hear, someone just randomly out there, we hear them say, it's on the koozie. Somewhere so in the complex. Very helpful, yes. Somewhere out there. I like how you guys market yourself. You, you only sell merchandise of things that you can use yourself, like a beer koozie. Yeah. And I have a specially made G-string. Travis, hey, are there any questions from the internet? Would you, would you like internet? to play another song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's play one. Yeah, let's do. You start it. All right. Well then. Flawed. I don't see the good 
Stephen Phoenix says, awesome prairie folks. Wow. Stephen's Stephen very Phoenix. handsome. Yes. And Taylor Ernst wants to know, um, what kind of beer are you guys drinking? Great question, Taylor. I have a Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues. I think brewed. I was handed the same. Am I allowed to say that? Brewed right here know. in Longmont, Colorado. That's true. Brewed right here in Longmont, that. Colorado. <laughs> this koozie was made right here in Longmont, Colorado. They're not Colorado. under witness protection, Jess. That's a good point. Yes. Don't tell them about us, man. <laughs> They'll come for us. What kind of beer are you drinking, Taylor? That's the real question. Taylor Ernst. No, tell she's us. a wine drinker. You know, she's at home no, drinking a big likes, glass of red wine. Does she? I'm pretty sure. You know, if you write us a little note right now on Facebook, we'll make these kind of jokes about you. <laughs> right, isn't that lucky? I'm not sure who I'm looking at. Probably this guy. Real lucky. Yeah. Okay, so next uh, next uh, yes. month, next month, March mm -hmm. 5th, which happens to be a Tuesday as well, we're going to have Bonnie and Taylor Sims from uh -huh, Bonnie and her Clydes. The Clydes. Her Clydes. I think the it's her Clydes. Bonnie and her Clydes. That's the com. website. And then Bonnie and the Clydes, the it's band. It's very interesting. You guys are from the same state, and you went to the same school, yet... At the same time. At yes. the same time. You didn't really know each other too well, did you? Mm. We knew of them. Yeah. We were Bonnie, in the same building. Bonnie and I had a math class together, actually, come to think of it. And uh, Tom, while you're in there, buddy, I'll take one of those. <laughs> what a great America. I think Bonnie actually told me she had to stop sitting by Andy because she felt like she would fail the math class because... She'd have gotten the kind of grades my parents got to check jokes. out. <laughs> so yeah, we do know them. We love them and their music as well. And they live here now too. Yeah, so they'll be on the show next month. Awesome. And then um, we actually have a whole... We have a whole slew of other folks who want to come in and... Um, a slew. A slew. Bless you. <coughs> Being the old Can we bunker. maybe come in and ask them questions? Ooh, you know, I need... Uh, what I'm learning from this experience is you, what people can't see. When they turn the camera on me, all they see is my mug in front of some computers. But Aww. what they don't see is that... What, you're I've looking got, up on the computers? I've got computers and eye devices and phones and that I'm checking all this. So... Since we all here at Free Range Pictures are volunteers, if anybody wants to volunteer the, to be the social media person um, during these events, please let me know because you're, you're invited. Yeah, I think Andy just wants to come ask questions. Yeah, yeah I just want to ask questions. <laughs> like, you need somebody for that. What if nobody yeah. asks from Facebook? Well, what if they don't have a Taylor Ernst I'm on sure their I'm sure you're phones? doing a much better job than, than I am because uh, it's, it's, you know, it's hard. Can't, I can't be at all places at is all it, times. Is it, Travis? <laughs> is it so hard? It's so hard. I think that signifies the time for another song. Whatever, it's the internet. These people have another window open with pornography on it. <laughs> you don't know that. Matt Ernst. <laughs> at soundtrack. Work. You guys need to write a soundtrack, like a movie soundtrack. Well, we'd be happy to sign that contract yes. and be paid for that if given the work opportunity, we don't want to do. I'm yeah. sure we would. We would absolutely do that. <laughs> There's a little tune called The Open Road. Then I 
to go back home The open road The open road The open road Is calling me so I I must go
the Prairie Scholars on Free Range Sessions. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, you probably don't have to keep introducing us. There's only fucking 30 of them. They, well, they probably see. know us. There's actually 44. They, they probably smoked them. weed with us at the house, <laughs> you know? At the set break. Um, How about the... We've got time for one more, one more song. Oh, I know what it has to be. You know what it has to be. Oh, for sure. Travis, do you want to guess at what our last song <laughs> has to be by, by law? Has Freebird? <laughs> no charge, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably Any do. other fucking... Rec- rec- I bet where? someone on the interwebs could guess it. Let me look right here. Hold on a second. Check it out. Check Taylor Ernst. She'll know. Taylor Ernst. Matter of fact, uh, is contact her. I, I should look up my own Facebook. <laughs> Time for one more, but don't we no make laughs. the time, really? We what is go time? A over. Who's really counting? Who's really counting? Nobody seems to know on Facebook what your last song is. Well, fuck them then. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but we do want to thank them for watching. And, of course, all the future people. People in the future, thank you for watching us. Craig Cornette says, woohoo. Oh, Mm -hmm. Craig. He knows what the last song is. I (laughs) guarantee it, sir. Just so you guys know that uh, because this is live, Mm -hmm. it's going to be replayed in its entirety, so no editing. Not that I know you don't care. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I mean. (laughs) Hey. Sure. We don't mind looking like It's like, like a normal, asses. normal Prairie Scholars yeah. show. Yeah. yeah, it really is. We're just trying to it's keep just it as real Tom. as possible. <laughs> Tom, are you enjoying the show? Tom's he loves it. The show. Double thumbs up from Tom. Mm. Where are you guys? Uh, you got some tour dates coming up? Where you guys Hell no. We're playing around town though, and we're on the internet all the time. I know exactly what they are. That's my job. Go ahead, Jeff. Um, this coming Saturday, we're playing at Echo Brewing in Frederick, new little brewery. Um, Oscar Blues on Sunday. Oscar Blues in Longmont, I should specify. And then Saturday the 16th, I believe it is, we're playing at Left Hand Brewery, which is one of our favorite spots. So I'm super excited for that one. Nice. That's all I can remember. I'm texting Taylor right now. (laughs) Instant feedback. Here you go. Ready, Taylor? (laughs) Shoo! Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, We'll see you next month. Yes, thanks very much for watching. Very kind of everyone to take part in this lovely online Prairie Scholars good time. I hope you've had as many beers as I have, because here's a great song.
Well, we woke up in Taos, New Mexico And we looked around the room for the wine And after a glass or two We tried to find something to do by walking all around downtown And then never had I Don't get me high That's a thing I'm always trying to explain to you That if you don't feel like fucking Don't get me high Yes, that's a thing I'm always trying to explain to you for watching us tonight. Go about your normal lives.